We know that women are more prone to infection during pregnancy. Occasionally those infections can lead to life-threatening tissue and organ damage. This is sepsis. In spite of advances in diagnosis and treatment of infection, sepsis remains a leading direct cause of maternal death. Confidential inquiries have highlighted that substandard care in septic women continues to contribute to poor outcomes. Prompt training allows maternity unit staff to rehearse for sepsis together using the most up-to-date national guidelines. Prompt uses a variety of teaching methods. In the classroom, you can use the risk assessment tool to help determine whether women with signs of infection are displaying features of sepsis. This tool has been designed for ease of use and combines the latest guidance from the UK Sepsis Trust and NICE. Tutorials are used to introduce the key interventions in the management of sepsis, such as the Sepsis 6. These are the six clinical goals to be achieved within the first golden hour. They include the use of serum lactate, which is a marker of tissue and organ damage, to triage sepsis severity. Lessons from the classroom can be reinforced and practiced in clinical scenarios. Right. Well, we need to do some observations. Okay. Can I just pop this on your arm, darling? Okay. My tummy really hurts as well. Okay. I pop that on your finger. Okay. That's just for your oxygen saturations. And I just need to do your temperature, okay? Okay. Just try it. In this drill, the Muse chart helps the team recognise the possibility of sepsis whilst the risk assessment tool correctly identifies that this patient requires urgent directed treatment. Okay, this is an emergency situation, so I need to call some more people into the room, Claire, okay? Okay, Claire, I just need you to get into your left hand okay. side, okay? Okay. In the drills, as in real emergencies, reassessment is key. Here, the presence of a lactate above four millimoles per litre prompts the team to liaise immediately with critical care. If patients are critically ill or don't improve with sepsis 6, then intensive monitoring and treatment, such as is available with anaesthesia and critical care input, may well be required. Debriefing after the drill allows the team to explore the clinical aspects of how they have done. We use teamwork checklists to explore how non-technical skills played a part in how they achieved these clinical goals. In this way, human factors are integrated all the way through training. Leadership, and sometimes rotating that leadership, helps the team more effectively reach its goal. Sepsis management can definitely be improved. Prompt training helps embed the latest national guidance into the practice of everyone working on our labour wards. If you'd like to learn more about how prompt training can improve care on your labour ward, or to sign up for our courses, please visit www.promptmaternity.org or email us on info at promptmaternity.org.